Um, I'm so excited about the Gypsy update. It's the most exciting update yet, I think, in my opinion. Um, when you turn on your Gypsy after the update, you'll notice one thing right away, and that's there's another icon on the front. The icon is in the middle. You still have the little bug, and you still have the tool, um, the wrench, I guess you would call it. But in the middle is a circle with a picture on it, and this is the picture application or the photo application and in here um, there are already some photos uploaded and then you can upload your own and it's super easy to do this you just plug in your gypsy into your computer and drag whatever photos you want onto your gypsy app so I think that I will do that for you today so that you can see exactly how easy it is so I'm just going to plug in the gypsy it's really helpful so that you can um, save your work that you've done, or you can save an example of something that you want to create. So if there's a sketch or someone else's work that you wanted to scrap lift um, and change to make your own, then you could do that. And then you can't actually bring the picture onto your mat on the Gypsy screen, but you can go refer back to it. So I'm just going to click on the Gypsy Sync, and then it'll say Busy Syncing and checking for updates, which it always does every time you connect your Gypsy to the computer. You pull up your computer screen, and here's your Gypsy sync box. Okay, so we'll just pull it to the side, and I'm going to click on the Photos folder, and in here's a list of all of my photos. Now what I'm going to do is I have a sketch that I saved over here on my desktop. That way, I always save it to my desktop so I can quickly find it. And all I'm going to do is click on the sketch and I'm going to drag it to the photos folder. And then the Gypsy will say that it's saving it and it should be right here on my, on my um, list of photos. Okay, after you've put the sketch in your um, folder on the computer, or on the desktop, come back to the Gypsy, open up your photo app, and you'll be able to find exactly what you saved it as. So, as you see, some of these um, I saved, this is my work, I saved just as what file name it was, which I probably shouldn't have done, I should have probably changed the name. And then my sketch, I saved as sketch. So, then I can refer back to this to when I'm making a scrapbook page, and and make my page according to that sketch, or if you have a challenge or something that you're trying to do. Okay, there's also the list option of looking at the photos, or there's the, um, you can look at the photos all at once. Okay, and then you can also zoom in on the photos. So there, we're looking at the sketch in a bigger size. There's one more thing, is the add to favorites. You can take a, a sketch or a picture and you can add it to your favorites so that you can just click on favorites and go straight to what you're looking for. You can also remove things. So if I go back to the photos and I wanted to remove this picture of, this, of the cricket, which I probably don't need, I can just click on remove and it says, do you want to permanently remove this file? Yes. And that takes that photo that I don't need anymore away. And I think those are all the features of the photo application. So thanks for watching.